Long time no talk, y'all. Okay, so one of the reasons why um, I'm not as consistent this week as opposed to last week is I've had a bunch of professional developments, a bunch of people in my room fixing things. I have two IAs in here. So, you know, I try to find time where I am by myself to update you guys with what's going on. So, with that being said, there are some things that have come together, and there are still some things that are still in shambles, which is totally fine. I am not gonna, like, get too crazy about it. So, I guess I will show you guys a round of what I've gotten accomplished, as opposed to the things that are still in, in shambles there. This is my reading area. This is the tapestry that I was talking about. I got it from Urban Outfitters. It's the world, and there's a bunch of floral patterns on it. It's so beautiful. I got this hooray balloon uh, last year in the Target dollar spot, and I figured since the beginning of school, we would keep it. So this is this area. I still am going to have my husband come in and build the how rude. This is the organizer that's going to go here with the bench. I'm gonna put all the pillows on it. These two um, floor pillows will stay there, um, but otherwise that's pretty much the same. This is pretty much the same. This is my co-teacher. She collects pop taps for the Ronald McDonald house. This is actually really funny. So I got this from my mom. It's like a random inspirational message that you can flip. So this one says, we are quite simply the meaning behind a single acorn. And if I flip it to just like a random one, contemplate the energy that flows through sand. Like it's just like really random inspirationalness. This is the sink area. I got soap from the dollar section, some hand creams. I hung up the oh happy day over here next to the soap dispenser. I don't know. Anytime the kids come to wash our hands, it's just a nice little sentiment. So this is the wallpaper that I'm planning to put here on the wardrobe. So it's going to go on the sides. The front is still quite a mess. It's grotesque. Um, I got permission to paint it with chalk paint. So I'm going to paint this with chalk paint and it can be like an interactive um, spot in my classroom instead of just being brown and peely. Here is the bathroom. So I hung up this wreath with bells on it so I can hear when kids are going to the bathroom. That side says go ahead, and then when someone's using it, they flip it to occupied. Don't go in. Something that sticks out. Over here, I hung up the map of the world next to the door, and underneath it, I'm going to print out the quote, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And I have this from a hand lettering book I got from five and below. It says, may the road rise to meet you. That's an Irish blessing. Still got a lot of things to go through over here. I'm going to hang this up in the hallway. This is going to be my IAs. It's going to go over there. We spray painted the wicker organizer and we're housing all of our crafty things here. My IA is just like, this is just not very pretty. So she's going to, um, I guess do her thing with this. We got this wire paper organizer, so she has all of these different colored papers. All of our coloring books are down here. All the gold bins with their names are here. And this is the same, <laughs> nothing's changed. The drawer organizer was taken by one of my coworkers that really wanted it, so we got that out of here. This is the same, I have, um, my learning targets are going to be over here. I already started writing one of them and I didn't like how it turned out so I erased it yesterday. So I posted this on Instagram and this border I got from Lakeshore and I used chalk marker to write a Mr. Rogers quote. I love Mr. Rogers, I always watched him as a kid. Um, and it says, there are three ways to find ultimate success. Be kind, be kind, be kind. And that's kind of my theme this year is just to be kind. So my mom hung up this chalk paper because I have this pennant 
and because the wall is white and then that's white kind of wanted it to stand out a little bit so put that there and trying to figure out how to hang that up without it falling <laughs> we hung this here be the good you want to see in the world I got this from Michaels and I got these bins from Michaels these are the Ikea chairs that I got each of them are 20 bucks I got four of them I thought it was just like a nice little seating option they could go anywhere they could roll in anywhere they want to there's a standing desk my husband's going to bring in the benches to build and that's going to go over here so that's kind of how it's looking that bulletin board is going to be done up once I get the paper from Amazon so still lots to do but um, we are getting there for sure. so I'm gonna tell you right now that one thing I have been doing is um, le leading meetings for my SPED team. I have been leading professional development for the IAs today. We have a new tech book in our curriculum. So um, it's a math tech book and we are using that in math. It's a tool that we can use. Um, we were learning more about it. So we really haven't gotten much time in our classrooms. So I'm kind of glad that we were able to get in um, last week for a little bit. My wonderful IA got these out for me. It's the progress monitoring cards. So this is one of them. This is another one. He is currently reading decoding at a fourth grade level and we want him to read with 95% accuracy by the end of his IEP, which is actually coming up in October. So, fun. So this kid has a difficulty with organization. So he will put papers in the designated areas of his binder and eight out of 10 probes per quarter. So I'll just check his desk once in a while, 10 times throughout um, the quarter and say yes or no, did he do it? So a custodian came in and I was just talking to myself. It's no big deal, it's fine. I hope you guys are doing well. And if you're in school right now, I hope everything's going well. I'm excited to see the kids. We have our open house tomorrow, so I will definitely be vlogging that. I think, um, obviously not showing the kids' faces, but I will vlog, you know, my preparation for open house. Most kids, sometimes they ask to come see my room. Sometimes parents ask to come see my room and what it looks like. But for the most part, my room kind of stays untouched and they, they're just really interested to see the gen ed teacher, which is totally fine because my gen ed teacher is so amazing. She is like literally amazing. I, I'm going to have to vlog some of the things she does because it is just out of this world. Okay, we build robots the first day and we code and we program and she has a 3D printer. <sighs> She's like seriously goals. So this is kind of my IEP documentation like station, I guess. My phone is here because I'm literally on the phone every day with a parent usually. I have post notes here just in case I need to jot down something real quick. So I've had this forever. It's just a date. Yeah, I guess it just shows me what the date is. I'm going to keep my IEP binder down here. This is where my phone numbers are and everything. And then this is what I worked on. This file organizer I got from Target. I put these sticker tabs on each of the files um, and I used a friction pen. So obviously you can see here that I erased a name but I used a friction pin to label it, and this is where their progress monitoring cards are going to go. Whenever my kids are working in the gen ed setting for language arts or for math even, um, to document their goals, the IA that I work with is going to get the original, make a copy, stick it in here with the appropriate name of the kid, and then give back the original to my co-teacher so she can send it home. I'm putting it down here. And then what I'll do, I will transition any of the copies that I need to kind of consolidate and keep together in my IEP binder. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just been bonkers. The kids aren't even here yet. It's just, it's just crazy. I will keep you guys updated. I'm gonna film open house tomorrow and probably film tomorrow as well, like for setup and everything because my mom's gonna be here and Friday my husband's gonna be here, so we'll film a little bit together of what he's building and stuff. It's, it's semi coming together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in my next one. Peace.